What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Glenn Plays video. This year marks Sonic the Hedgehog's 25th birthday. The Blue Blur is 25 years old. I can't believe it. I remember being a kid seeing ads for Sonic in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles magazine. I wish I had all those magazines yet, because they're very nostalgic. Any of you out there have those magazines, send them to me, because I think my parents threw them all out. And some of them ended up in my grandma's garage, so they got damaged and had to get thrown out. But I, I loved seeing the Sega Genesis ads in those magazines. It was it was almost magical, but yeah. Um, since it's you know Sonic's 25th birthday, I figured I'd play you know a Sonic game or two. Actually, I'm gonna go play all the Sonic games. Now, even though Sega made some mistakes and they're not as powerful as they once were. It's like, LEGO Dimensions could take a few lessons from this game. LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, fucking... Polish something up and make make something out of that. Why hasn't anyone made LEGO uh, Sonic toys yet? No, that, dude, that's a good topic. Like, like, there's been LEGO... There's been LEGO Mario stuff. LEGO's made fucking, like, everything you need to think of, like... I'm surprised they haven't gone into the porn market yet, because they've, they've fucking milked every other franchise they possibly could. Why not do it with Sonic the Hedgehog? I'd buy fucking Lego Sonic stuff. They get the rights to fucking Sonic the Hedgehog, but they'd probably fucking try to integrate it into Lego Dimensions anyway. They'd totally fucking destroy it. There would have been, like, potential for a LEGO Sonic game. They could have made it 16... 16-bit, but, like, uh... 3D, 2D, like they did with, like, Sonic Generations a little bit. Sonic Generations, um... That's a good topic, because, uh... I filmed the Sonic Generations Glenn Plays video, and nobody got to see it because that's the time I got the big virus, and that video got destroyed, so, now if you get, oh, fuck, you die so quick on that part, in the first one, so, yeah, if, if, if anyone, if any one of you want to see, uh, a Sonic Generation video for me, I'm gonna have to re-record it, and, I like Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, like, he gave Mario a run for his money, I think he, kind of got gypped near the end. So I'll play Sonic Generations again. I played Sonic 3D Blast. So that was going to be the first one all of you guys saw in the Glenn Plays videos. This, this I had a problem with in the first Sonic the Hedgehog. More difficult, yes. You don't get the spin dash and you gotta go through three levels before you face the boss. And I'm out of rings. There we go, I knew I was gonna get him anyway. But my friend Tony, he, he was just like, well, you know, Sonic 1 was the hardest one, I'd have to agree. It's not that it's bad, it's just... It makes the game longer when you have to go through Three complete levels and then face Dr. Robotnik. That's the only thing I don't like about it. By the way, I'm doing this video legit. I got the actual Genesis, and I got the three button control, not the six button activator. Man, the the second Genesis, I don't I don't fucking care. Like Here's what I'll say. I'm I will say I'm a, I'm a Sega fanboy. I love the NES. The NES is the one I collect most games for. Shit. There you go, not paying attention to the game. Um, Right now, I collect mainly NES games. That's like the big system I'm collecting for. Uh, whenever 
I always look through piles of junk to see if anyone's got anything for NES. I'll always take Genesis games. But, um, growing up, the Genesis was probably, like, one of my favorite systems. And uh, even now, I bought a Super Nintendo when my son was... No, I actually bought a Super Nintendo before my son was born. He was gonna be born soon. It was 2009. And I bought it for my son's mom. And she really didn't give a shit if I took it with me or not. So I took it with me. And... I've got a lot of great Super Nintendo titles. I've, I've played a lot since then. Like, there's a lot of great Super Nintendo games. Um, you know, like Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Castlevania 4. The Metroid games are fun. Uh, the, the Super Star Wars games didn't make it to Genesis. They made it to the Super Nintendo. Those are really fun. But, I just, I keep going back to the Genesis. Like, I, it still remains more of a favorite system to me than the Super Nintendo. I don't know why. Because a lot of a lot of people would make the argument it's it's graphically and you know audibly superior to the Genesis, which it is, but for some reason I just I can't get over to the Sega Genesis. I still love it. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. I love this I love the graphics and the audio on the Genesis. Even though the Genesis didn't have very good audio, but the Sonic games had great music. Nobody can dispute that. It's like, you know, Sonic... I've been meaning to play... I'm gonna play every Sonic the Hedgehog game on the Genesis for his, his 25th anniversary. Except maybe Sonic Pinball. Sonic Spinball. Because that game just blows. I was never a fan of it. It was... I think I mentioned it in another video. I told my girlfriend this, but it's like... Um, Sonic's Pinball was the one I got for like a birthday or something one year, and I just remember being so disappointed. Cause it's, that's like the game no kid wants. It's like, you you know, you're familiar with Sonic the Hedgehog. You want a good Sonic game. At that point, you're hoping to get like Sonic 3. And it's like all of a sudden you open up, you open up the wrapping paper, or, you know, the gift bag you get. It's Sonic Spinball, it's like, oh, that's nice. You know, it's, it wasn't a very fun game to get to, the frame rate was choppy. The, the, pinball, the pinball gameplay just sucked. There's other great pinball emulated type games on the NES and stuff. It's like for Sonic, that's what he gets. Like, I, I almost want to say like that was like, the beginning of the end for Sonic when he was in his own pinball game. Yeah, that's the story of tonight. Um, I'm filming all these at weird times. I'm actually up way later than I should be. I'm actually going to be cooking steak and potatoes for my girlfriend and her friend, Angela. And we have a bunch of kids over here tomorrow, and I'm sitting here playing a Sega Genesis game. But it's it's all for the videos, it's all for YouTube, so... You know, plus I... I, I love doing Glenn Plays videos, because I love reliving my childhood, and this is like... I don't know, it's my opportunity to do that. And I'm, I'm just gonna mention Derek Throne again. Derek, I hope you're watching these, cause... You're... I don't know, he was, you were my best friend growing up, and you introduced me to a lot of these, and... I can't play these, like, these Sega Genesis games without thinking about you and spending time at your house, and... Drinking tons of Mountain Dew, and eating tons of frozen pizza, and... Fucked up. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Yeah, every, pretty much every newer game console up until the PlayStation N64 I experienced over at Derek's house. So I'm always mentioning him in these videos because I did a lot of good times with him. And uh, it, 
It's just funny how certain things go. Like you, you get certain friends as you know as kids, and it's like you guys develop a bond that doesn't break, no matter how many years go by. It's like these games help me remember those times, and I honestly miss that, those times a lot. When you grow up and, you know, you have your own lives and whatnot, it really is kind of sad growing up, because then you realize it's like, okay, you gotta grow up. Your friends aren't always gonna be there because now we all have to work and we all have bills to pay and some of us get married and have kids or in my situation had a kid with somebody and we broke up and now I got a girlfriend who's got all of her own kids and we all work and have kids and have bills to pay and it's always difficult to get back together and relive old memories. Not everyone is inclined to do that. Not like me who's sitting at my fucking house at 4.30 in the fucking morning reliving his childhood by himself. <laughs> Playing another video game to get over the shock of another fucking horrible video game. I'm gonna have to end the video soon, even, even though, like, um, Sonic the Hedgehog, like, this first one, this is worth doing, like, a full playthrough of it, because, like, every level in this game was awesome, and I've, I've played through the game but never beat the first one. I beat the second and third one. I beat Sonic 3D Blast, and I conquered Sonic Generations. Those are the only Sonic games I've ever beat. And there, there was a lot of Sonic 3D games, too. There was, uh, Sonic Lost World, Sonic and the Black Knight on the Wii. Uh, what was another one? There was Sonic Colors on Nintendo Wii. There was a lot of them, but a lot of them, um... A lot of them sucked according to a lot of people. Do I dispute it? Uh, I don't know. Because... A lot of the, I, I will agree, some of the Sonic 3D games are pretty shitty. Um, Sonic Generations, though, it had a good... The idea was good. Um, you know, you had a 2D, 3D perspective, kind of like New Super Mario Brothers. I would have... I totally would have bought a new Sonic game if it would have been like that. Like, they would have stuck to 2D, 3D and have it play kind of like the old 16-bit Sonic games. I think they, if Sega would have done that, they would have been more successful at remarketing Sonic the Hedgehog instead of all these like 3D games that had all these like weird fucked up controls. And that's my dream. I, I'll probably never get to see that in my lifetime. But I, you know, I, I completely, all the way through 2D, 3D Sonic game, like Sonic Generations, if that's all it would have been, like 2D, 3D, like that, I, I would have loved it. A 2D, 3D remake of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, that would have been fucking awesome. I'm gonna see if I can get to the last boss in this level and then I'll end the video. Even though I think this has been going on way too long. Okay, I'm back to a different part in the level. Um, Anyway, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, to me, it holds up to this day. I still love the Sega Genesis. Still a great system. Um, it's, you know, you can still go buy one off of eBay and it still works. I've, I've bought a, a few bad Genesis with bad capacitors or the sounds were fucked up on them. But they still worked after they, like, heated up or whatever. Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog, 25 years. I can't fucking believe it but I still love the blue guy. Uh, my son loves him. Still very nostalgic. Um, yeah, go watch one of my other videos. Uh, see you next Monday, whatever video wish might come comes along.
Sonic the Hedgehog 2 probably. 